Black-tailed deer. If you've never heard of these things, join the club, because I hadn't either. But when my cousins from Born and Raised called and asked if I wanted to go on a private ranch with guides on a blacktail hunt of a lifetime, it was pretty much an instant yes. So to start off the trip, we flew into Oregon and headed out to deer camp. Even if we don't even see a deer, which I know we will, because we've already seen three, we're gonna have fun. That's the main thing. We saw 15 deer driving here. And this is when we're gonna get familiar with the guns we're gonna be hunting with. The first is a Sig Cross chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. After taking a few shots with it, we pulled out a brand new Sig Cross chambered in 300 Win Mag and took a few shots with it. Both the rifles shot really good, but for me, I think I'm gonna stick with the 6.5 Creedmoor. And for the rest of the evening, we're going hunting. Do yeah. I look like I'm ready to go deer hunting? Looks like you're ready to go smoke a black tail right now. Cool. Make sure you look good doing it. And cut out the illegal parts. And on the way up, before we even got to the top, we were seeing deer everywhere. Alright guys, so we're on the top of the mountain, and this is literally insane. We've already counted 26 deer on the way up here. We just now got up here, so, and there's one buck just standing right there. It's not a big buck, but apparently for this place, it's got to be pretty big because this is a pretty special place, as you can see. For my first blacktail hunt, this is awesome. And we're coming somewhere like this. This is insane. Like even for them, who'd been hunting for their, their entire life, says this is this is something special. So, we might, you know, I'm just saying. It's pretty crazy. Look at this. This is insane. I think if we do all right here, I'm never gonna wanna go anywhere else blacktail hunting, so. I'm not either. <laughs> I've never really experienced something quite like this. What's that over there at Mount St. Helens? Ah, uh, that's Mount McLaughlin. So we've actually been up here on the mountain for probably about 40 minutes and we've already spotted a shooter. I think we're gonna make a move on it. I don't think I'm shooting it. One of these other guys is. And hey, looks like there's a chance we might get on some action, but it's way over there and we gotta get in here and we gotta get over there if we're gonna try to do anything with it. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Well, I'm not doing it, they're doing it, but I'm gonna watch. I don't know, it's not, he's tall. Is he aware of him? He's aware. <laughs> Very aware. But he's just moving. Like, no, he know he's sprinting now. No, he's, now he's coming back. No, he's running down now. He's working around this. That's weird. This point. Yeah. It's not that weird. I can run too if I had it side by side going after me. <laughs> Basically, a little status update. Um, it ran away. <laughs> and uh, I think he nailed the head and hit the head on the nail right there. On the, that was exactly right. We'll probably catch y'all back at camp. We eating something good? We're eating oh. something real good tonight, yeah. We're I just saw eat. some unlabeled packages of meat. That's all car caribou. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fresh. Fresh caribou. Yeah. <laughs> Killed just <laughs> a, right, about a month ago. That works for me. Yeah. I hope you guys like meat because we're having a lot of it <laughs> in the right. next week. A lot of it. All right, guys, we're back at camp, and that means we're going to be figuring out where we're sleeping cooking up some food, and it looks like we're chopping firewood. We got the ax. Show us how it's done. That's Chop that thing in two. That one looks good. Oh, that, one's, that one had water coming out of it. What are we cooking up? So, yeah, so we got caribou on the menu. You guys are gonna eat well, okay? Get ready to, get ready to have, and some exotics too. Have uh -oh. some exotics. You never know what you're gonna have around here, but 
It will be good until you get sick, right? <laughs> so this is going to be haystacks. You ever had a haystack before, Kendall? I'm not. We make what you call a corn piler. What you call it? Hay haystack. 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 This is how you make a haystack. First thing, chips. Little, oh, just okay. a light little smash. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy. We're gonna go to the hamburger. This is elk burger. Caribou. Oh, this is caribou. Yeah. Caribou. Let me go cheese so it melts. A uh, little bit of uh, some greens. Get your vitamin D. And then onions if you dare. And tomatoes. And then we top it off with salsa, ranch, and more red Tabasco than I care to talk about. That's a haystack. Haystack? Good? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try. Jury's still up. All right, all right, all right. Get a little bit of everything right here. To be fair, that's really none of everything. I got what you put on. I did the same as you. They did everything. I've done some stuff. So Kendall's an imposter. I felt a little guilty, so I went ahead and put some of this stuff on the side. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Foreign substance. Caribou, pretty good. Haystack, pretty good. But now, I'm gonna eat the rest of this, then we're gonna be working on our bed. This is where we're sleeping, but I'm not sleeping on it like this. We got this big suitcase here because although we are in a wall tent, we do still need sleeping bags. And that's what we got. Oh. That looks cozy. Yeah. Let's take this and then uh, we'll get our beds ready. This is, this is a good hunt. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we might get lucky enough and be able to get one tomorrow on our first real day. But we'll hunt around and we'll see. Bye for now. Going to bed. All right, guys, here we are. This is the first part of the first real hunt, and there's the sunrise. Just a day. Now our strategy for this hunt is gonna be a spot and stalk, where we pull out our binoculars and pretty much scan a big piece of area. And if we spot a buck we wanna go after, we work out a game plan to get close enough to take a shot. Be looking forward to the new video on the second channel. We're gonna invade US federal uh, military site, so. Coming soon. Right down there, that bottom meadow. Yeah. Bottom thing. Above There's, the green. Uh, yep. I see the body of it. It's two bodies. Oh, got it. You see both? Yep. Three. Three. Four. Four. Now this time of year, will there be a a buck with the does or bucks more alone? It depends on the cycle of the doe. If the doe goes in heat, then it'll attract a buck. A couple, a couple bucks, one little one, and one looks like a pretty good one. But I think he's on the neighbor's property, so the sun's just popping out, and the deer should be glowing.
Got him. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> Good shot. He's shaking. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice shot, bud. <laughs> Are you left handed? No. <laughs> you just left? He yeah. shot left. There's no there's no room to shoot right. <laughs> We're tacked out on on some black tail. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Smoked. Well played shot. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, there's a lot going on. Buck. This buck literally just rubbed, came over here and bedded, and that was the last move he made. <laughs> Look at that. You got this. You got this. Oh, yeah. Oh, we just drug it out. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's a great buck, guys. It is. That's a great buck. Uh... All right, guys, it is midday. We're back at camp. Just got that deer back. Stinking epic. Out of the three tags that we have out of this big group, one of them's already filled, and it's pretty much the first morning. And this is a breakfast burrito, and I'm going to eat it for lunch. We're gonna eat lunch, hang around a little bit, and then it's time to get back up there and hunt for the evening. It's definitely within the realm of possibility that we could tag out tonight. spot a lot of deer here the weather's good the evening's good this could be the hunt right here but it's crazy because at any moment in this hunt five minutes later we could be done pretty rough so we're going down the mountain where hopefully it's a lot less windy less foggy hopefully more deer because a deer's not really going to want to be out here in this if you don't have to i'm glad you've you've really got to experience the true oregon weather yeah that's what you i know, was thinking this it is morning raining, but this morning we had a beautiful sunset what and then this afternoon it's like oregon rough yeah yeah so we'll see what we can do yeah.
We're waiting for him to turn his head to see a little bit more about it. There's a four point on this side. Was like a four by two or four by three? Oh, I think it's a four by four. I think so. I think the four four question. Four does, he, does he spin your wheels? We can, <laughs> we can keep hunting and we might find bigger. We might not. If it's a four by four, that's a very classic black tail rifle. Or even bigger. And he's got that I've only killed he one black tail bigger than this in my life. I, I, I've, I've never killed a black tail bigger than this. <laughs> but for here, this is a special place. And we've said Tyler, Tyler names all these deer. <laughs> yeah, that one's bird name. He says, oh gosh, that's a nice black tail. He's a nice black Either way, I'm going to have to get closer than this, yeah. if we can. Let's go out to this landing, and we'll be able to see up there. And then our only other option is hike around, and hopefully you don't go too far. Mm -hmm. We're going to get right on that knob and be 200. Well, that would be great. Mm -hmm. We got one hour left. We're going to try to make it happen. Hit himself. He disappeared from what we can see. We know he's somewhere in here, but if he's bedded down under a tree or something, there's not much we can really do about it. We can't make him move. It's looking like this hunt is over until tomorrow. All right, we just got word that the second person has killed their deer today. So that makes me officially the last person with a tag. What do you think, Gabe? You're gonna have to kill a deer now. Sounds like it. Let's go back and get to camp. Let's see what they kill. Show me that big old hog. Congratulations, Cameron. Thank you. How far was it? 220, 230. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Like you just hear the lock pop and he just ran into the fence. You hear him crap. Alright. I 
I'm the only one left. You're the only one left. I know. That's good. That's fun. Everybody else tagged out on the first day. And then there's me. I got close. But tomorrow should be interesting. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so maybe we'll get some good weather. What are you thinking? Huh? After two out of the three tags were filled out on pretty much the first day, we were thinking this was actually gonna be pretty easy, but it turns out it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. We were spotting great blacktails, but knowing the potential bucks this property had, we decided to let them go and hold out for a blacktail of a lifetime. I set my goal on a four point, which means at least four points on one side. Well, if you take a look at a big three by three blacktail and compare it to something like an eight point whitetail, they kind of look the same. But when you see a four point or four by three blacktail, there is no confusion with that thing being a whitetail. Last evening of the last day. I don't know. It's our last chance to make something happen. We got a whole team out here glassing for us, which is great because me coming from Kentucky, I ain't good at glassing. So it's good that we got about 12 people who are. With this buck we just spotted being a four by three, it meets what I was going for. I was going after a four point and this one is a four point. So instead of waiting out for a bigger one and wasting time, this is the one, this is him, this is the buck we're gonna try to kill right here, right now. He's gotta stand up. But I think we can do better. And I think this is uh, not for me. I'm trying to be a little smart for once. He said that you don't want to shoot this one. Correct. There you go. All right, we're moving.
Nice. <laughs> there we go. Nice shot. I got it. I can't believe I got that. It was a little shaky, but I got it. You scared me. I jumped. <laughs> Give me five, buddy. <laughs> That's a heck of a shot. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're tagged out. <laughs> Alright, there we go. He was quartering away. I kind of put it right. Everything. Nice shot, buddy. <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I could do. Our center of frame, it just boom, he freaking pancaked. They're, uh, they're going to go get the uh, side by side. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh. tail. Four by three. First flat tail. Four point. It's pretty good. <laughs> If you like this video, click right over here to watch your backcountry bear hunt or right over here for when I went deer hunting with Walmart's cheapest rifle.